Now let's see what has been written over here, direction cosines. Direction cosines also we started in the chapter of vectors just like direction ratios. So if you have a line which makes angle alpha, beta, gamma respectively with the positive directions of x axis, y axis, z axis, then cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma can be called as the direction cosines and these are named other way as L, M, N respectively. And there is also one relation which is widely followed which is L square plus M square plus N square the whole total is 1. So direction cosines are like this L, M, N and their squares sum up to 1. Now if I talk about direction cosines in the term of a line, so again I have a line which has two points somewhere on it. The first has the coordinate of x1, y1, z1. The second has the coordinate of x2, y2, z2. Now you tell me what about the direction cosines of this line. So the direction cosines can be found out as x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. But the only difference in these direction ratios which I am finding this way is that you divide by the magnitude. So basically the earlier ones were direction ratios but this is the direction cosine. Also since it is always about the proportionality and not the exact equivalent value, so you can also make sure that the below one what I am writing has a difference with the sign but still it is about the direction cosines only, even these are the direction cosines because anyway their sum would also be 1 only. So this is about direction cosines in the next video let's understand these direction cosines and ratio in much more detail.